Welcome to Posture Practice Research. I'm Dr. Steven Weiniger. We're about posture and the idea that posture exercise helps build core strength with restoring motion using focused exercise to strengthen balance and stability and promote general health and build a virtuous motion cycle to help people move, feel, and be well. Some new research that came out in June 2011 in Journal of Orthopedic and Sports Physical Therapy demonstrates one of the ways that the concept of posture exercise and chiropractic works together so well. The conclusion of this study was that clinicians should be targeting the recruitment and function of the lumbar multifidus for better clinical outcomes. And this fits perfectly with the concept of chiropractic and posture exercise because it demonstrates that people that showed real mechanical changes when they got adjusted not only improved the pain, but there was a, a actual physical change in how they were moving their body. And the flip side was also true. People that had no improvement had no change. There was no physical change. And they actually measured the lumbar multifidus. Looking at the core muscle of the multifidus is the intersegmental muscle between the vertebra of the spine from the bottom all the way up into the cervical spine. The transverse abdominis, the diaphragm, and the pelvic floor are the inner core muscles that connect the torso and the pelvis, or the second and third posture zone. And the connection between torso and pelvis, that's the stabilization occurs by a relatively thin column, the spine, and the intersegmental muscles the, that prevent buckling of that rod, of that stiff point, is what we're talking about when we're talking about multifidus. And when we look at posture from an overall point of view, the relationship between torso and pelvis is mediated by the strength of that deep core muscle. And there's been a lot of recent research that's shown that spinal adjustments affect the deep muscles of the TRA and the multifidus, and that there's a strong correlation between weakness and delayed activation of those muscles and low back pain. And what they actually did was they measured using ultrasound the thickness of the multifidus muscle. The study was straightforward. They gave people a first day baseline questionnaire examination. They checked the thickness of the muscles. They adjusted them and then they gave them, they assessed ultrasound again. Session two, same thing. Session three, they added another questionnaire and they gave a final ultrasound assessment. And they actually measured the distance be from the front to the back of the muscle of the multifidus. And you can actually see the difference in the thickness of TRA, internal oblique, and between one side and the other L5S1 multifidus. And the cool thing about it is when they plotted this over time, People that improved had a th had a significantly thickening of the multifidus. People that did not improve did not. And they found this at the L5-S1 level as well as at the L4-L5 level. And the final conclusion, the benefits of spinal manipulative therapy may be partially mediated by improved lumbar muscle thickening. In other words, the lumbar muscle is being activated. And their suggestion was that it would be a good idea to further target those deep muscles in order to get better clinical outcomes. This is huge. As I said, there's the first study to show that there's a difference between people that respond and people that don't respond. And the difference in response is the, that, that lumbar multifidus activating or thickening. And when that muscle is thickening, activating, that makes a difference in how body stabilize. That's one of the things that we talked about in the book, Stand Tall, Live Longer, an anti-aging strategy to strengthen posture, to strengthen how the head balances on the torso. And by beginning with the core, but working up and down the kinetic chain, uh, improving alignment and motion of how the body balances. Torso and pelvis, coupled motion controlled motion, stable, stable motion is essential for strong biomechanics and strong breathing, literally affecting how well you can breathe as well as good health. We call this strong posture. And that's why we look at posture. You can learn a lot by looking at posture and carefully observing over time what happens with treatment and making a clinical habit of seeing how a body is standing 
and observing it and making somebody aware of their posture can make a big difference in how they move. In terms of communicating these concepts to the public, we promote the idea of an annual posture assessment for an active pain-free life, helping people identify the cause of many, many health problems being that of a postural problem, and that the solution to that is strengthening posture, strengthening balance, alignment, and movement. Helps back pain as well as numerous other mechanical problems, and making somebody aware of their posture, assessing it, giving them a pre and post picture of their body from the front, back, and side, builds posture conscious patience. And this is what the people that are in the CPAP program, as well as people that have been to our, pro our programs, teach. And this is what this validates and demonstrates the wisdom of strengthening posture by beginning with balance. We use the stork, as you know, suggesting that three times a day and adding exercises progressively and systematical, systematically along an alignment and a motion track to build progressive conscious motion so people can feel and find the tight links in the kinetic chain in that balanced alignment motion track. The CPAP program is a 12-hour live seminar, another online seminar. Many people find that coming to the online seminar first lets them get ready to test out in the strong posture protocols, which is coaching as well as hands-on, getting you tight on doing st the strong posture protocols, as well as the practice integration and management webinars, CPEP 321, to help you become a local strong posture exercise professional. The tools from PostureZone.com, from assessing software to other tools as well as information about the CPEP program is available to teach you what you need to know to teach people what they need to know to help them move, feel, and be well. Strong posture exercise dr can dramatically enhance patient empowerment as well as relieving their symptoms by creating awareness of the posture and the body motion and then focusing motion to the tight links in that kinetic chain that has been mobilized building a synergy between the biomechanical and the biopsychosocial to train motion to occur more normally at a subconscious level. The goal, again, helping people move, feel, and be well with daily posture exercise. Thanks. My, my name is Dr. Stephen Weiniger. Email me from posturezone or, or, or bodyzone.com. I look forward to helping you help people move, feel, and be well. Thanks.